hello friends um, today we are going to discuss a bit on how to approach odisha specific parts of the ocs main exam syllabus so many people have been asking me as students that how to prepare for these specific parts so i thought uh, let's <coughs> take a make a short video on it so if you see the ocs main exam syllabus you will see that in the syllabus there are uh, in gs 1 2 and 3 there are odisha specific parts for example in under gs1 you have uh, odisha's heritage and culture and you have odisha history you have odisha geography right? similarly under gs2 if you see there is there are two laws of odisha one is over tpsa Odisha Right to Public Services Act, one is Odisha Loka Yukta Act. There is another topic called PRIs in Odisha and another topic called Odisha and its Neighborhood. And yeah, by the way, another topic under this is also part of society. If you see in UPSC syllabus, it is only mentioned Indian society. OPSC has done uh, Indian society as well as Odisha society, specifically parts like diversity effects of globalization urbanization tribals and under gs2 there is another part known as social justice so here you are supposed to read about all the schemes important schemes related to poverty development health education okay. Similarly, in GS3 paper, there are parts like Odisha budget. So, in the syllabus, it is mentioned that budget, Odisha and India. Similarly, there is land reforms, infrastructure, and there is one part called industrialization in Odisha. Then, under GS3 itself, if you see the agriculture, section you have odisha related parts cropping patterns irrigation agricultural marketing e technology in farming okay all these parts they have just copy pasted so <clears throat> you are supposed to prepare on these topics point is most people are asking for content where do we get content so under our GS Men's Cross Force actually we have included Odisha specific parts so, and many people had requested to start maybe a specific course for this Odisha specific part but we are not starting any such course as of now because we don't have that much time. So it is already part of our syllabus but if you don't want to subscribe then you can also prepare on your own and in this video I am just going to show you how to prepare this content. Okay. So let us take up one topic, for example, Odisha and neighboring states. So many of the information will be whatever is publicly available, but you have to understand how to make some fodder material or content from it which you can prepare and then you can write in the exam. So today we are going to see how you can make some content on this. For, <clears throat> for this topic, if you see if this is Odisha. Okay. So who are the neighboring states of Odisha? This is West Bengal, this is Jharkhand, this is Chhattisgarh and this is Andhra Pradesh. Okay. So we are going to take each and every state and we are going to analyze this from different dimensions. What are the dimensions? First dimension should be the background on the states itself. So background of these four states. Under background just uh, go through some brief information. For example, uh, when were they formed maybe? Specifically for Chhattisgarh and Jharkhand. Second is what is overall their macro statistics? Size, population. Okay. And third point is other any unique features if you can find 
specifically related to its society. Okay. This is the first aspect that you should have some content on. The second aspect and from this actually whatever questions will be asked is from this second part only. And the second part is something we are going to divide by what we had earlier studied under pastel approach. So not all of these dimensions but a few of these dimensions. For example, we are going to examine the political relations of these states with Odisha. This is the point with Odisha. Okay. So what can be seen under political relations? Under this usually what questions usually be asked on different types of disputes. For example, land border disputes. <coughs> if you see current affairs, Kotiya Panchayat issue you know, between Andhra Pradesh and Odisha. One question maybe they, they might ask about this or in general some land border disputes. There is water or water resources sharing. So interstate river water disputes. For example, between Odisha and Andhra Pradesh on Bangsadhara River or for Mahanadi River between Odisha and Chhattisgarh. So one aspect could be this. There are other political issues. What are other political issues or other issues in general? Uh, one can be uh, related to intellectual property rights. For example, regarding the GI tag issue between Odisha and West Bengal. Might have seen this news related to Raskola. There might be some topic related to environmentalism. All these aspects. Now, <clears throat> what is the other dimension? One other dimension can be from economic relations. Economic relations between Odisha and these four states. And you should analyze your whatever content you are making from these perspectives. One is interstate trade and commerce. One is industries. One is agricultural relations. One is related to mines and minerals. And there are other aspects, for example, tourism. And one specific aspect you can also make related to disasters and disaster management. Okay. If not under economic relations, you can call it under other relations. Here you can give example how Odisha is acting as a role model or case study for these states. For example, if you see the recent Amphan super cyclone, this had affected West Bengal and they can learn from our case study also. Okay. So similarly, if we are going to analyze other aspects, what could be the way forward for these issues? Okay, One other aspect that you can also analyze is from the sociocultural perspective. What does that mean is that people to people ties. P2P links. You can analyze migration issue, migrants or migrant laborers. You can discuss about cultural ties like fairs and festivals, even tourism that we earlier discussed. This can also come under sociocultural, also. You can tourism plus other people to people links maybe historical links depends on which state we are talking about and finally you should also have a very short note prepared on the way forward based on the same dimension whichever dimension that you you made notes on based on the same dimension for example here we are going to discuss about political economical sociocultural and others. So what could be the way forward for Odisha 
to improve its relations with its neighborhood or neighboring states. Politically, we can give examples, for example, interstate council. We can give example of zonal council. We can give an example of interstate river dispute, river water dispute tribunals. Okay. Similarly, under economic sphere, we can talk about GST council, the raw material procurement, industrial location, how to improve interstate trade and commerce, how to improve mining and minerals, including some examples you can write, for example, DMF or Pradhan Mantri Khanij Khetra Kalyan Yojana. Similarly, under sociocultural, we can talk about examples like National Integration Council. For migration, you can talk about Ishram Portal. You can even talk about Ek Bharat Shrishta Bharat. In other cases, for example, disaster management on intellectual property rights. How we are going to increase our coordination with each other. This would be another aspect. So these are the different ways in which you can, this is through just one example, Odisha and its neighboring states. We analyzed how to make notes. For any other help, you can contact us. Otherwise, you can make notes in this way also. And all of these are, we are also teaching all of these. But otherwise, you can also make notes on your own. Okay. I hope this is helpful.